In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can speed up your data cleaning process with the Clip Python library. And without further ado, we're starting right now. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Clip Python library. And it is a Python library created by Andreas Kans. And earlier today, I was fortunate to come across an article on Medium in Taurus Data Science written by Andreas. And he has written about the Clip Python library. And so please make sure to check out his article and also some of the examples that he has on the GitHub. Okay, and so let's take a look further. So let's start by installing the Clip library. So it's a simple pip install clip, K-L-I-B. All right, and now it's installed. And so let's take a look at how we could visualize missing values as a plot. And so we're going to be making use of the missing val plot function. And so this function will essentially allow us to have a high level overview of the missing values in the data set. And so it will be pinpointing which columns and rows to examine in more detail. By in more detail, I mean which columns or rows that should be removed or dropped from the data frame. All right, and so let's run this. So here we're going to be importing the clip library, importing pandas as PD. We're going to be reading in the CSV file, which is the NFL data set. And it is the example used by Andreas on his GitHub and also in his Medium article. So check out his article as well for more details. And so in this video, we're going to be providing a quick overview. And then we're going to be making use of the missing val plot function. And then the input argument will be DF, which is the data frame of the NFL data set. Let's go ahead and run the cell. All right, so this is the missing value plot. So in the top portion here, you're going to be seeing the missing values. So the bar here will indicate the relative percentage of the missing value. And we're going to be seeing that these columns have a lot of missing values. And we're going to be seeing here that out of 12,000, there is a missing value of about 2,200. And so that's accounting for almost 20% of the data sets. So here, top portion of the plot shows the aggregate for each column. And on the right hand side, you're going to see the summary statistic right here. Summary stat. And here is the aggregate of the missing value. And then the bottom portion will be showing the missing value as black colors. So the black colors will be the missing values. So you're going to see here that the relative percentage is high. And so correspondingly, it also has a lot of black bars here indicating a lot of missing values. All right, and so clip also comes with a function to perform data cleaning, and it will allow you to drop empty and single valued column as well as empty and duplicate row. So let's have a look at that. Let's run it. So you're going to use the data cleaning function, and we're going to assign that into the DF cleaned variable. And so here we see from the output that a total of four columns were dropped where one of them has single value and that we dropped about 520,000 missing values and we saved about 59 megabytes of memory. So that would make running the data analysis more quicker. All right, and so let's have a look at the correlation plot. So here we're going to be examining the intercorrelation amongst the features of the data frame. And so in this first block here, we're going to be displaying all of the correlations data. And here we're going to be making use of the core plot function and the input argument will be DF cleaned. And then we're also going to be making use of the annotation equal to false input argument. Otherwise, it will be showing a lot of annotation. So let me show you without this. And let's run it. And you're going to be seeing here that there's a lot of annotation. So the values are written directly into the plot. So let's have annotation to be false. Remake the plot. And here you have it, okay, which is much more appealing. And so let's say that you want to display only the positive value. You could also add another input argument, split equal to pos, meaning that you're going to split your data and showing only the positive correlation. 
So the pairwise correlation, whichever has a positive value right here in the turquoise color, is going to be shown. And the ones in the orange color here are not going to be shown. So this is only the positive correlation. And then let's have a look at the negative correlation. Right here, we're going to be showing only those with the negative correlation. Okay, and then you have the positive and they have the combined. Let's have a look further. Let's have the correlation between a particular target variable of our interest. So let's say that we want to compare all of our features against one of the column, one of the feature, which is called touchdown. Let's have a look at that, which features contributed to touchdown. Okay, and so it's going to be ranked according to which feature contributed to touchdown. All right. Or let's say that you prefer to have the data matrix. You could also get that as well right here. Okay, so you see the raw values here instead of the plots here. You get the actual value. Okay. And clip also has a function for you to generate some distribution plot of your column of interest or a particular feature of your interest. So let's have a look at the win probability. So this is the probability of winning and shown as a distribution plot. Okay, so from a range of zero to one, this is the distribution along with the corresponding summary statistics. And then we have the categorical plot. Okay, so we're gonna be seeing the categorical features and they're shown as bar charts here so that we see the possible values for each of the categorical variables. And make note here that the input argument, we're going to be using the DF as the input data frame. And then we're using fixed size to be 50 and 15. And data is not shown here, but then when we try to use the DF cleaned inside Google Colab, it doesn't work. But when I use it in the Jupyter Notebook on my local computer, using the clean data works perfectly. So there's some glitch on the Google Colab. So let me know in the comments down below if you have figured out how to solve such glitch. And let's say that you want to save the plot of your correlation plot. Let's make it. And then we configure the size to be 12 by 10. So right here. And let's say that we don't want annotation and it's going to be based on the clean data set. And so you could save it here. You assign it to a plot variable. And then you use the plot.figure.savefig. And then you give it a file name, figure.pdf. And let's run it. And then we have the figure.pdf. Let's download it. And here you have it, the PDF of the figure. And so you can see that this allows you to perform a very quick data cleaning and also a very quick exploration of your data set where you could have a look at the intercorrelation amongst the features, get a relative idea on which of the feature contribute to the trends of a particular target variable of your interest. And so exploratory data analysis or EDA is an essential part of the data science life cycle and let me know in the comments down below if you have ever used clip before and i'd love to hear from you your experience of using the clip python library or if you have any other python library that allows you to perform exploratory data analysis that you frequently use and thanks in advance for sharing and if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video and as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.